morning guys, Teacher A here and welcome to Guru Pinoy sa Amerika. So for today, ang lesson natin ay pangalawang method ng pagsusolve ng systems of equations and that is solving systems of equations by elimination. Elimination, from the word itself, i-eliminate natin, i-aalis natin yung isa sa mga variables or letters para masolve yung pangalawang variable or letter. Okay? So, Pag sinabing elimination, it's either we will use addition or subtraction. Kung ano yung applicable sa dalawa, ang mahalaga, ma-eliminate natin or ma-ialis natin yung isa sa mga variables. Okay? So, paano ba yun? Let's have example number one. So, ang given natin ay 6x minus 3y is equal to negative 9 and 2x plus 2y is equal to negative 6. First step, kailangan isulat natin siya in column. Na kung saan magkakatapat yung parehong variable. Yung may x, yung may y, and then equals yung constant. Okay? Nasa standard form siya. ax plus by equals c. So, dito sa una, we have 6x minus 3y equals negative 9. And then yung pangalawa na 2x plus 2y equals negative 6. So, yan ang first step. Pagtapat-tapatin in column. Second step, i-check natin kung aling kay x or kung kay y yung may parehong coefficient, parehong number. Para iyon ang i-eliminate natin. So, here's a given Si x sa taas ay 6, sa baba ay 2. Si y naman sa taas ay negative 3, sa baba ay 2. Mapapansin nyo, walang magkapareho. Dapat meron. So, anong gagawin natin? Yung nasa ilalim, since yun, yun yung mas mababa, multiply natin to sa number na magiging katulad niya yung nasa taas. Paano yun? Halimbawa, yung nasa taas ay 6x. So, para maging 6x din si 2x, multiply natin si 2 by what number? So, 2 times anong number ay 6. Okay. So, multiply natin to by 3. Multiply this by 3. So, magiging, i-rewrite ko lang dito, 2x times 3 ay 6x. Distributive property. Then, 3 times 2y ay 6y equals 3 times negative 6 ay negative 18. Okay? And then, since na-multiply ko na siya, i -re -re write ko lang yung nasa taas na 6x minus 3y equals negative 9. So, ngayon, meron na bang number na kasama ng letter na magkapareho? Yes! Yung kasama ng x, pareho sila, 6 and 6. So, anong gagawin natin? I-add ba natin sila o isusubtract para makancel out? Kapag in-add ko sila, magiging 12. So, hindi siya na-eliminate. Kailangan mawala. So, therefore, i-minus natin siya para maging equals 0 siya. Ma-eliminate siya. 6x minus 6x ay 0. So, cancel out na natin yung may x. Eliminate muna natin yung x para ma-solve natin si y. Okay? So, remember, this is subtraction, ha? So, negative 3y minus 6y. Magkapareho silang negative. So, therefore, i-add 3 plus 6 ay 9. Then, kopyahin yung negative, na, uh, negative sign. And then, kopyahin si y. Equals negative 9 minus negative 18. So, double negative. I-rewrite ko lang para makita nyo. 9 minus negative 18. So, negative and negative, multiply, that will become positive. So, 9, this is negative, negative 9 plus 18 na siya. So, naging negative 9 plus 18. Okay? Magkaiba ng sign. So, isubtract. 18 minus 9 ay 9. Okay? Now, to solve for y, kailangan na wala si negative 9 dito. Divide both sides by negative 9 para ma-cancel out siya. Lalabas si y equals 9 divided by negative 9 ay negative 1. So, therefore, 
ang y value natin ay negative 1. Now, let's solve for the x value. So, kahit na alin dito yung gamitin natin, papalitan lang natin yung y ng negative 1 to solve for x. Okay? So, the, uh, I will use yung first equation. We have 6x minus 3y equals negative 9. Para ma-solve si x, papalitan ko si y. So, 6x minus 3 times, ano si y? Yung na-solve natin kanina. Negative 1 is equal to negative 9. So, solve ko to. 6x, negative 3 times negative 1 ay positive 3 is equal to negative 9. Combine similar terms. Si positive 3, ililipat ko sa kabila. Magiging negative 3. So, we have 6x equals negative 9 minus 3. So, 6x is equal to negative 9 minus 3, both negative. So, i-add 9 plus 3 ay 12. Kopyahin yung negative sign na common. And then after that, so for x, para mawala si 6, divide both sides by 6 para ma-cancel out siya. Therefore, x is equal to negative 12 divided by 6 ay negative 2. Yan. So, kompleto na. May x and y na tayo. Therefore, the solution of the equation is si x muna, negative 2, and then si y, negative 1. Okay? Now, tama ba yung sagot natin? To check if our answer is correct, ipa-plug in natin si x and y dito sa parehong equation. Okay? So, purahin ko muna to. Using the first equation muna, na 6x minus 3y equals negative 9. Papalitan ko si x and y. So, 6 times si x i negative 2. Minus 3 times si y i negative 1 equals negative 9. 6 times negative 2 ay negative 12. Negative 3 times negative 1 ay positive 3 equals negative 9. Negative, three, <laughs> negative 12 plus 3. Magkaiba ng sign. So, it's a trap. 12 minus 3 ay 9. Kopyahin yung sign ng mas malaking number, which is negative. Then, equals, kopyahin yung nasa kanan na negative 9. Are they the same? Yes. Therefore, tama ang ating sagot. Now, what about sa second equation? We have 2x plus 2y equals negative 6. So, palitan si x and y ng corresponding values nila. So, 2 times x, si x ay negative 2. Plus, 2 times y, si y ay negative 1. Equals negative 6. Solving the left side, 2 times negative 2 ay negative 4. 2 times negative 1 ay negative 2. Equals negative 6. Negative 4 minus 2, parehong negative. So, add them together. 4 plus 2 is 6. And then, copy the common sign, which is negative, is equal to, kopyahin na nasa kanan, negative 6. Are they the same? Yes. Yeah. So, sa dalawang equation, equal sila. Therefore, our solution, negative 2, negative 1, is correct. Okay? Last example. Okay, number 2. 2x minus 3y equals 6. And y equals x minus 1. Again, i-check natin ang given. First step, nasa standard form ba siya? x, ax plus by equals c? Yes, yung una. Ito, hindi. Nasa slope intercept form to. So, therefore, i-rewrite natin siya into ax plus by equals c. So, pag ni-rewrite to, mauuna yung x. So, yung x dito, ita-transpose natin sa left side, magiging negative x. And then, plus by, so, kukopya ng si y, equals c, equals the constant, which is negative 1. Yan, nakaayos na siya. Then, isusulat natin siya in column, wherein, magkatapat yung x, magkatapat yung y, magkatapat yung constant. So, we have here, 2x, Minus 3y equals 6. And then yung pangalawa, negative x plus y 
equals negative 1. Now, that's the second step. Next step, i-check kung alin sa x and y yung merong parehong coefficient. Ibig sabihin, parehong number na kasama. So, si x dito, 2 ang kasama. Si x dito, negative 1. So, magkaiba. Isang 2, isang negative 1. So, si y, ang kasama ni y sa taas, negative 3. Ang kasama ni y sa baba ay positive 1. Magkaiba na naman. So, therefore, we have to find a way para maging magkapareho yung isa sa mga numbers na kasama ng isa sa mga letters. Okay? Pwede si x, pwede si y. So, solve na lang muna natin si x since yan yung nasa unahan. So, 2x yung nasa taas. Para maging 2 rin to, anong number? Sa anong number natin multiply ang 1 para maging 2? Okay, so that's 2. Therefore, i-multiply natin ang whole equation by 2. So, sulat ko dito. 2 times negative x ay negative 2x. And then, 2 times y ay positive 2y. And then, 2 times negative 1, so equals negative 2. Okay? So, ikokotihin ko lang yung nasa taas na 2x minus 3y equals 6. Yan. Meron ng magkaparehong number. Yung x, 2 and negative 2. Now, para makansin out si 2 at si negative 2, i-add ba natin o i-minus? Kapag in natin, 2 plus negative 2, magkaiba ng sign, isusubtract. So, 2 minus 2 ay 0. Kapag naman minus natin, 2 minus negative 2, double sign, magiging plus ito. So, magiging 2 plus 2 equals 4. So, therefore, addition ang gagawin natin para ma-cancel out yung my x. Ma-eliminate yung x. So, ipa-plus natin to, Okay? So, 2x plus negative 2x. Sinove na natin kanina. That's 0. So, cancel it out. Next, negative 3y plus 2y. Magkaiba ng sign. I-subtract. 3 minus 2 ay 1. Mas malaki si 3. Negative siya. So, negative to. And then, copy the variable y. So, since may kasamang variable si 1, hindi na siya isusulat. So, negative y na lang. Equals 6 plus negative 2. Magkaibang sign na naman. So, subtract. 6 minus 2 ay 4. Final answer? Hindi pa. Kasi ang y natin ay negative. Again, to make it positive, i-multiply lang or i-divide by negative 1. Shortcut. Lagi kong ginagawa. Palitan lang lahat ng signs. Negative y magiging positive y. Equals positive 4 magiging negative so, therefore, ang y value natin ay negative 4. So, this time, kailangan isolve naman natin si x. Kasi may y na tayo. So, i-check natin sa dalawang equation at ito mas madaling is mas madaling gamitin. Feel ko, mas madaling gamitin yung pangalawa. So, y equals x minus 1. Para masolve si x, palitan si y ng value niya na sinolve natin. So, si y ay negative 4 equals x minus 1. Combine similar terms para masolve si x. Si negative 1, ilipat doon sa kapareho niyang number. So, magiging negative 4, negative 1, magiging positive 1 equals x. So, negative 4 plus 1, magkaiba ng sign. So, isubtract. 4 minus 1 ay 3. Mas malaki si 4, negative siya. So, this is also negative. Therefore, ang value ng x natin ay negative 3. So, may x na tayo, may y na tayo. So, may solution na tayo sa ating system. So, therefore, the solution of the given system is negative 3, negative 4. Okay? Last step. I-check natin kung tama yung sagot natin. So, let's start with the first equation. 2x minus 3y equals 6, i-plug in si x and si y. So, 2 times x, ano ba si x? Negative 3 minus 3 
times ano ba si y? Negative 4 equals 6. Check natin kung magiging 6 din to. 2 times negative 3 ay negative 6. Negative 3 times negative 4 ay positive 12 equals 6. Solve the left side. Magkaiba ng sign is subtract. 12 minus 6 ay 6. Mas, mas, meh, mas malaki si 12 kaysa sa kay 6. Positive si 12. So, positive din tong 6 natin. Equals, kopyahin ang nasa right side na 6. Same ba sila? Yes. So, therefore, tama ang sagot. Let's check yung second equation. Y equals X minus 1. Same thing. Palitan si X and Y. Ano si Y? Negative 4. Equals, ano si X? Negative 3. Then, kopyahin si negative 1. Solve the right side habang kinokopya si left. Negative 3 minus 1, both negative. So, add 3 plus 1 is 4. Then, kopyahin yung common sign ng negative. Pareho ba? Yes. So, therefore, negative 3, negative 4 is correct. Now, kung nakatulong ang aking video sa inyong lesson, sa inyong module, kung natutunan nyo yung pagsusolve ng systems of equations by elimination, kindly give me a like para i-share din to ni YouTube sa iba. And please, if you are not yet a member of my community, uh, ini-invite ko kayo na mag-subscribe kay Teacher A, Gurong Pinay sa America, and please like my FB page, same name, Gurong Pinay sa America by Teacher A, para updated kayo sa mga videos na ginagawa ko. And, pwede nyo akong i-PM sa akin FB page kung meron kayong lesson na gusto nyo gawan ko na tutorial video. Okay? So, that's it for today. See you on my next video. Paalam!